Chakra Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. This video is going to be for Capricorn. Hello, Capricorn. Um, I think I just skipped Sagittarius, but oh well, we'll go back to it. Guess I felt guided to do Capricorn. <laughs> I just realized my last video was Scorpio, so I think Sagittarius was supposed to be after that, but you know what? Um, there are no accidents. I said Capricorn, so we're starting with Capricorn. I will go back and do Sagittarius. Sorry, not sorry. So, right off the bat, Capricorn, I'm going to give you a huge hug because <clears throat> I had a hell of a lot of trouble setting up this camera today to do this video. For some reason, it was crooked. It's still crooked. I can't get it straight. I don't care. But um, we're still here. Ain't nothing stopping me, Biat. <laughs> every day I'm hustling like this says every day I'm hustling so you know every day I'm taking steps towards my goals because that's how we do it but that being said Capricorn I have to say that I feel like you guys are really struggling with something because it wouldn't have taken me that long to get my camera up unless your energy there's something in your energy field or you are struggling with something that's usually how it works that's usually how energy works you know like I'm a professional energy reader and I will tell you there are no accidents just like it was not an accident that I decided to do your video before Sagittarius so as you all know it's spooky month so that means I'm breaking out my spooky tarot I do spooky tarot one second okay <clears throat> so you know that Halloween's my favorite holiday, so I do spooky tarot every October, and I break out the same deck, <clears throat> which is my um, oh, Beauty of Horror tarot. So <clears throat> in October, we always start out with that deck. It doesn't matter. Like, that's what we do. I've already um, staged this whole entire place, and boom, I Palo Santoed. So everything is freaking freaking I'm not gonna say the f-word everything is freaking fresh okay we have a fresh start fresh new energy up in this space I already sound cleansed for you with my bell and we are ready to um, give you your timeless read for October so this is a timeless read but we are focusing on the energy of October and this is for Capricorn. So what does Capricorn need to know about their love life right now? Let's see what is up with Capricorn. So we have Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. What's next? What's, what's working with the Seven of Pentacles? Ooh, the Fool. Okay. Good energy to start off with Capricorn. I'm going to get a few more cards out before I start to read the energy. I don't want to start off on a, t on a tyrant, like on a rant, and then all of a sudden I realize I'm going in the wrong freaking direction at 60 miles an hour, right? Stupid. Ooh, we. We have two major arcanas right off the bat. We have the fool and the star. Okay. So Capricorn, I already see right off the bat that you are trying really, really hard to start fresh with something. You're trying to start over in regards to your love life. Ten of Swords. Fuckery. I had to cause for that one. <clears throat> so you're trying very hard to for a fresh start with something or someone, okay? You just want to start over. You're just sick of the shit. You're sick of it, right? You still haven't given up hope on, you know, this connection, it feels like, right? You still haven't given up hope. That's why the star is there. You're hoping for a fresh start. There's Ten of Swords. So there was a very, very, very painful ending of something okay it literally you literally felt like it killed a part of you it was really hard so let me just say right off the bat like huge hugs Capricorn 
I love you all so much. I really do. And I'm not even going to try to pretend to understand what it was that caused this small death in you. I just want to say I love you so much. And whoa, your energy is definitely shifting though. Um, I just went to shuffle and like half of the cards just flew out. So the universe is gifting you something due to this painful ending. Okay. Oh my God. And there it is, Capricorn. It's 535 on my clock. Uh, not my clock, my, um, my camera. So you went through this really painful Ten of Swords ending where you literally felt like a part of you died. Pee. Oh, you got to go pee. Okay, hold on. You Don't hold your pee in, please. Hold on one second. Hey, Capricorn. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so back to where we were. So, you know, I have a five-year-old, so he's in the middle of potty training. He's doing really good. He's almost completely potty trained, so he doesn't need to wear pull-ups at night anymore. He, um, you know, he, the only trouble he has is using number two. Like, he <laughs> doesn't want to, he'll sit on the toilet and then he can't go. You know what I'm saying? But he wears big boy underwear all day, so he's doing really good. He doesn't wear a pull-up at night, um, so he's fully potty trained at night, he just, he's having trouble, like, with the other thing, you know, like, he'll sit down on the toilet and nothing comes out, and then, <laughs> you know, I'll put a pull-up on him, and then he goes, <laughs> it's so funny, so he, we're almost there, we're almost there, all right, so, yeah, I had all my kids pretty late in life. I'm 43. I have a five-year-old. <laughs> it can be quite challenging um, at times, especially like right now when I'm working and he comes in and he's like, ah, <clears throat> you know, so, but okay, back to your reading. So you had something, you had a very painful ending recently. <clears throat> um, it could have been a relationship. It could have been something job related. It doesn't matter. Most likely it was something relationship wise because this is a love reading. So we're focusing on love. So if you had something very painful that you were still hoping to have a fresh start with, the universe took something away from you in a very painful way. It literally felt like you were dying. I mean, look at, she looks like she's dead, right? But I was just saying, I was in the middle of saying the universe is giving you something back, a gift, and here it is. It's another connection or the same connection renewed. It's the Two of Cups. This is the Twin Flame card, okay? In this deck, it is my Twin Flame card. There's no doubt about it. Um, I'm going to pull some cards to see if it is an old connection or a new connection. So if something like Six of Cups comes up, we'll know it's like an old connection. If, I mean, we have the Fool, so I feel like it could be a new connection, but... We'll be able to tell by the cards, okay? Can you to please tell me, Spirit, is this an old connection or a new connection, please? Patience. So to me, it feels like it could possibly be an old connection that's renewed. Something that you were very patient for and that you were waiting for for a really long time, right? Yes, see? Capricorn, this person was not in the right headspace for a connection, right? This is the Seven of Wands. So they were on the defense or you were on the defense, okay? It feels like, though, possibly they were on the defense. And you were sitting here offering this love, this hope, this, you know, you wanted this fresh start with this person. And you had to be very, very patient, because they were in defense mode. They were not ready. They were on the defense. Um, I mean, it could be vice versa and they were waiting for you, but I don't think so, Capricorn. Like, this reading's for you. So it feels like your person was maybe on the defense for the longest time. They weren't open to love. And so you had to be very, very patient with them. But look, there's your happily ever after. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. Everything is turning around. We're going to move on to the light, the light seers deck. Um, look, 
They're not on the defense anymore. They're ready and they're open. See, look, on the bottom of the deck, it was a hanged man. There was no movement, no movement, right? But this person was extremely bothered by the fact that there was no movement. See how this mummy's hanging upside down, but the two bats are bothering this, this person? This person, this is showing me that this person's energy, there, though there was no movement, they were very bothered by the fact that there was no movement. And they knew it was their fault, and they take the full blame for it. We also have King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign. But if you look here, we have King of Wands, and then we have the Empress. Oh my God, and the Lovers. You cannot make it up. And the King of Cups. Look at that. Even going backwards in this deck. I was going backwards like this. Like I was saying, this is on the bottom of the deck. This is on the bottom of the deck. It tells your story even backwards. I have chills everywhere all over my whole entire body. Look at this. King of Wands. So there's the fire sign, right? He was all arrogant. He was in his ego, right? He or she, it doesn't matter. This is the masculine side, right? But they knew that you were the empress. And so they were waiting for the right time to make their move. But they knew that they weren't ready because they were in their ego and they were feeling very defensive. So they weren't ready, right? This is the lover's card. This is the decision. They sat there for a long time thinking. They knew that the connection was worth it. They knew it. They knew that you were the empress and they weren't going to find anyone like you. And so they were up in their head about it. And they were like, I have to make a decision. And they made the choice to come out of their ego because now they're in the king of cups. Now they're ready with the cup of love. They're ready for the offering. They're going to make that offer. Look, ego, king of wands, fire sign energy, you know, all sorts of I'm the shit. I don't need anybody. I'm the lone wolf. But there was that empress that kept bugging them. There was that connection that kept bothering them. Why can't I forget this person? Why can't I forget this person? Why is this connection bothering me so much? I can normally just forget and shake off any connections, but I can't do that with this one, right? It's like the bats, the bats, they kept bugging him. They kept bugging him. They kept bugging this masculine, right? They kept bugging and bugging and bugging and he couldn't put the connection aside, because it was you, it was always you, that empress energy. And so there was that lover's choice. You know, this person knew they had to take a leap of faith, right? They had to make that decision. The angels were guiding this person straight to the sun, which was you, the empress, right? They had to literally go through the pits of hell. They had to go through a dark night of the soul, to get to the heart chakra opening and to get here to the king of cups. So they were ready with that love offering. Oh my God, chills. And there, on, again, bottom of the deck, there's that fresh start. That new relationship. I can't do it. <laughs> I haven't even went on to the other deck for you, Capricorn. My whole body just has chills. Wow. All right, what else does Capricorn need to know about this beautiful connection? I feel like there's so many unions coming in for 2023. The twins have to be united because it's part of our soul mission. We can't go the rest of the leg alone and spirit knows it. They know we need our divine counterparts and so now is the time. If you've been doing the spiritual work, then it's your time. If you've been doing the spiritual work... Four years, now it's your time for a union. You need to claim it. You have to say, I'm changing my story. Say it with me. I'm changing my story. My union is now. I'm done waiting. I don't need to wait anymore. Now is the time. Okay? We're needed. Especially if you've been, like, I have been on the twin soul journey since 2018 when I had my awakening. My awakening started in 2016 very slowly, and in 2018 it peaked, okay? When I met my first catalyst, my first false twin, he was my first spiritual teacher, and he literally kicked my ass mentally, physically. Not physically, but <laughs> mentally and emotionally, but... And so I've been on this journey long enough. I'm claiming my union and I suggest you do the same. Ten of Wands. So this is about traveling, okay? You, maybe your twin soul lives far away from you. Maybe that's what has kept the distance between 
between you guys. One or both of you might have to travel. Four of Swords. So Spirit is asking that you rest and recoup and heal your heart in preparation for this new energy which is going to be coming in. Okay. Time to focus on taking care of you, Capricorn. Because when your union comes, you're going to need all the energy that you can. There is that energy of union again, Knight of Wands. So it's someone that has made up their mind and they're coming in quickly. Knight of Wands, the energy is like, it's fireside energy, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're dealing with the fire sign. What it means is Knight of Wands is the type of energy like they are ready to come forward fast as hell. They get on that horse and they just rush towards you because they cannot hold back anymore. It's like they're very spontaneous and they've decided this is what I want. And once they make up their mind, like fire signs, once they make up their mind, that's it. We're done. Like you'll know because we're going to tell you, right? And this person is very quickly wanting to come forward now because they made up their mind. It's like, I, this is my decision now. See, two of swords. They came to a decision. They were at a crossroads, right? And they made the decision to come towards you. We're going to pull one more card for this connection. So you better get ready, honey bunny. Okay. Final message for this connection. Six of pentacles. See, the energy at first was not, was not, um, it wasn't, look at that. It's the, it's a eternity symbol right here. Can you see it? The energy at first was uneven. One of you was giving more energy than one of you was taking more energy, but now it's even. This, the six of pentacles, not only is this, the six is representative of spiritual connection. This is a deep, deep soul connection. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and trace this symbol for you so you can activate this symbol of eternal love in your heart, Capricorn, okay? It's an activation. It's a light code. Feel it. This is your eternal love. This is your eternal connection, Capricorn. Claim it, feel it. Six is the number of spiritual connections. So whatever you want to call it, whether you want to call it twin soul, twin flame, spiritual connection, cosmic connection, divine union, sacred union, sacred marriage, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. This is the connection that you know you've been preparing for and waiting for your whole entire life. It is the connection that you have nurtured for eons and eons and eons for millions and trillions and billions of years every time you reincarnate you find each other every single lifetime this is it and now the energy is balanced and you guys are in the same frequency and this is why you're gonna boom slap right into each other the decision has been made. Everything's already unfolding. Just let it unfold. Try not to get in your own way, okay? I'm going to do some Gypsy Witch cards for you. And then we're going to do some Earth Magic and we're going to be done. Wow. Like literally, I... So many of the signs have come into union in 2023. I can feel it. It's insane. Not not all the signs, but most of them. And, you know, so next year we'll start the new batch of <laughs> twin souls that I will be reading for. The next generation of twins that will be coming into union. Because we're all on different timelines. Pretty much everyone that started on this timeline with me is getting into union. Period. It, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to say it because I know it. I can feel it. I've been predicting it for years. And how now the time is here. Y'all, it's your time. Look, see, I told you, lover, there it is. I'm not just talking shit out of my ass. I know what I'm talking about. Scorpio has already is, is in union right now. I can't remember what other sign I predicted it for. Leo's is coming. I can feel it. Although I haven't predicted union quite yet for Leo. It's on the way. Cancer pretty much was, was right behind Leo.
Taurus, I think I predicted Union 4 already. Journey, there it is again. There it is again. So there's something really important about your journey right now as far as you traveling um, to or from your person. There's also this heavy energy on this card. I always notice it of the horses. Like one's darker, one's light. So it's like the integration of, of your higher self and your darker self. Like they're all aspects of you, right? The light and the dark. But it's because you found that balance that all of this wonderful stuff is coming to you. You've done the fucking work, Capricorn, period. Nobody can take that away from you. There it is. There it is. Oh my God. I'm so, I have such chills everywhere. It's so beautiful. There's the letter. There's the communication from your person, Capricorn. There's this, the dove represents inner peace, but most importantly, it represents holy union and the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of people in the Bible, they don't realize that the Holy Spirit is a form of holy divine union it's a sacred marriage and oh my gosh tell me if you watched my i put a community post up i talked about this on scorpio's video about how i had a faded meeting with did the divine ascended master and goddess lady nada n-a-d-a -A, lady Lady Nada, Nada, I'm not sure. I just call her Lady Nada, but it could be Lady Nada, Nada. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyways, she came to me at a point where I felt like I was going to give up and I was done. I was like, I'm done with the twin flame journey. I'm done with the spiritual journey. I'm done with my channel. I'm done with all of it. I'm done. I was, I was 10 seconds away from giving up. I was, I literally, I grabbed my ascended master's deck and I said, I need a sign. I need something huge or I'm going to give up. I'm done. I am so done. And I was ready to give it all up. I said, I don't care about it anymore. I just want to be done. I, I know I can't go back to sleep, but I don't have to do anything spiritual. I don't have to meditate. I don't have to manifest. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to give up my channel. I'm going to give it all up. And I pulled one card. I asked for a sign and it was Lady Nada. And the card was extremely beautiful not only did I connect with her on that level, but I ended up Googling her on YouTube and I stumbled upon that beautiful twin flame gift activation video that this beautiful soul had posted on YouTube. And I started listening to it and it cracked my heart wide open and it was incredible. The whole experience was an incredible synchronicity. And I posted it on my community post. If you guys stumble upon this video, please watch it. It is so beautiful. It is the activation of your twin flame gifts. And one of the symbols of Lady Nada is a pink rose. And I keep coming across it, which lets me know that I'm on the right track with all these divine unions that I'm predicting. I can feel it in my heart when it's coming for you. And you just need to believe it too. And that's why I have such chills all over my body because there's her symbol again and it came up for you, Capricorn. So Lady Nada is letting you know that she is the facilitator of, of Twin Flames. She helps Twin Flames get into union. So the fact that her symbol is on that card lets me know I am definitely on the right track, Capricorn. And it, it's just incredible. It's incredible. Wow, that's all I have to say. I'm blown away. Oh my gosh, look at that jealousy. So someone is either not going to like the fact that you are in union or the whole world is probably going to be jealous because this is it. It's your time, Capricorn. It's your time. And someone's not going to like it. In fact, the whole fucking world's probably not going to like it. Because you're going to activate so many, you're going to activate so many gifts within you and your person, but also you're going to help heal humanity. That's what twin souls are made to do, right? This is what we're made for. We're in a combined mission to help heal humanity and we're stronger together. But it doesn't matter because as long as you guys 
are sharing divine love between each other, nothing can stop your union and nothing can create muddled up energy in your union as long as you keep connecting to that pure ray of love in your heart. If you can connect to Lady Nada every day as long as you're in union with your person, connect with Lady Nada every night in meditation before you go to bed and ask her with the seven rays of light to protect your union and I guarantee nobody can stand between you and your beloved. I don't care what they say. You have to keep a pure heart in your union though. Okay. What is the final message you have for Capricorn? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for Capricorn. Everyone that is getting this. Oh my God, I can't take it. Everyone that is getting this card, DNA, karma. Every single person that I've pulled this card for has is coming into union. I got this for Scorpio as well. I know. I just, I just read for Scorpio and they're coming into union and they got this card. So this card is about the Kundalini activation that happens shortly before or after you meet your twin soul. Now, it can be triggered before you meet them or it can be triggered while you're making love to them and is the energy, the two combined energies when you're Energy starts at the root chakra and goes all the way up to the crown chakra and to the other chakras beyond. This is you and your twin soul's energy combined when you make love. And it activates your light body. It changes your DNA. It changes your karma. It changes everything because the energy of two twin souls making love is like a combustion of love. The energy is so powerful. It shifts everything around you in a catalyst of love. It's an incredible experience, okay? And look, we have Dragonfly Emergence. This is an, a crazy synchronicity for me as well. This reading is getting long, but I don't care because this is so important. So I, I pulled a card for myself a long time ago when I got into a connection with someone in the summer. And I kind of had an inkling and a feeling that this could be my person, right? And um, the first card that I pulled was Dragonfly. It was something about a dragonfly. Um, and the card was, the card said, Unfurling Back to Love. So I looked up today what the dragonfly symbol means. And the dragonfly is absolutely a symbol of transcendence, it's a symbol of transformation. And it is a heavy twin flame symbol. Not many people realize that. The dragonfly represents um, transformation. A huge transformation. And this is the transformation. Go on, kitty. You keep bugging me. Going in and out. My cat is a master freaking trans... Uh, what is it called when they transport? Um, he's a teleporter, dude. <laughs> I will let him out of this room. And I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. Five minutes later, he'll end up behind the bed trying to get out again and I'm like I just let you out how do, he teleports I'm I'm not even kidding it's incredible my cat my black cat he is so magical he I swear I'm not even joking you guys you know how many times I have let him out of this room and then five minutes later he's back in here and I don't know how he got back in because I didn't open the door and there's only one door and I don't know how he gets back in and I don't know why I'm telling you that because it's going to sound so crazy. But I swear on everything, it's the freaking truth that cat is magical. Okay, so back to the dragonfly. The dragonfly is a heavy twin flame symbol because it represents pure joy. The way the dragonflies fly is it looks like they're sort of shaking and shivering for joy, right? And... Miss Beautiful Genevieve, if you're watching this, please send this to Michelle, this reading, because Dragonflies, send it to Michelle, um, oh God, what's her last name? Canem, I, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Anyways, Michelle, uh, you'll know who I'm talking about, because you're friends with her too, okay? She's one of our soul family sisters, soul sisters. The Dragonflies are of huge importance to her, so she needs to see this reading. I don't know if she's a Capricorn or not, but I know it'll resonate with her. Um, 
So the dragonflies also represent transformation, which is a huge twin flame thing, right? Our twin flame comes in and shakes us to the core and transforms us and um, changes us forever, right? So you have dragonfly emergence. It's your time to emerge from out of the shadows. You and your twin are going to be in the light, right? Your love is going to be a beacon for everyone, like a lighthouse. Last message for Capricorn. Oh my gosh, lotus flower unfoldment. I love it. So, like the beautiful lotus flower, I don't know if we talked about it. I know we talked about it before on Leo's reading. Leo got this card. So, the lotus flower only grows from thick, dense mud. And the dense mud represents, you know, dark, dark, dark energy, right? It's the thickest, most hard to transmute energy, right? It's very dense black energy. And if you came from that, my beautiful Capricorn, that is why your light shines so bright. Because that beautiful lotus flower, when it hits that sun and it just blossoms, there is nothing like the power and the fragrance and the beauty of a lotus flower. It comes from the heaviest, darkest shadow that you can possibly ever see, right? And when it emerges, the whole world just stops to stare, right? It's incredible that it can come from such a dark place. And yet, its beauty is undeniable, right? And it's incomparable. And if you can transmute that deep, dark, shadowy pain and blossom like that beautiful flower, oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm crying just a little because <laughs> I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you, Capricorn. Oh my God, it's been such a long journey. Congratulations, darling. My darlings, you made it. I love you so fiercely. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, and, ah, oh, you beautiful Lotus. <laughs> if you would love to book a reading with me, I would love to have you click on the description box below my video and click on the Goldie appointment fix. Um, and that will book your reading. If anything at all resonated, please like this video, subscribe. It's completely free and share this video with your friends so that you guys can get your bonus read. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I hope you can feel my heart chakra just cracked open for you. <laughs> Bye, Capricorn. <laughs>